then what is the meaning of decantation basically decantation is a separation process of two immiscible liquids having density difference so decantation is a separation process which is used to separate two immiscible liquids having density difference and the equipment which is used for this decantation purpose is known as decanter fine so decanter is the equipment in which decantation process occurs there are two types of the decanter gravity decanter and centrifugal decanter now which type of decanter is used in which application gravity decanter is used when the density difference between the two liquids is large and centrifugal decanter is used when the density difference between two liquids is small so that is the basic difference between these two decanter let us start with the first type of the decanter which is gravity decanter and it is used when the density difference between two liquid is large so gravity decanter is used for the separation of two immiscible liquids having large density difference you can see the basic construction in this figure this is the cylindrical shape equipment here the liquid mixture of two immiscible liquid is filled in this tank through this feed inlet see here through this feed inlet the mixture of the liquid immiscible liquid enters from here due to density difference after some time the two layer will be formed fine the density of the heavy liquid will be rho a and the density of light liquid will be rho b so you can see in the notation here this hb the hb is the height of the light liquid and ha1 is the height of the heavy liquid fine now here after some time the two layers will be formed in the decanter because there is the density difference fine so based on density difference two layers will be formed in the decanter so after that we can remove the both liquid so this is the overflow line of the light liquid so i can say that ht is the height of the overflow of light liquid see here and for heavy liquid it is separated from here see like this so i can say that ha2 is the overflow height of heavy liquid this vent is provided here to remove any air which is present in the decanter from here so this is the basic construction of gravity decanter now if i want to calculate the ha2 value or i can say that overflow height or overflow liquid height of heavy liquid for that i have to apply the hydrostatic equilibrium for this condition of gravity decanter how i can write that see here hydrostatic balance gives that hb rho b plus ha1 rho a is equal to ha2 rho a how i can write that see in the figure in this middle line at hydrostatic equilibrium the forces acting in this will be same so hb rho b plus ha1 rho a is equal to ha2 rho a i can write this equation now just simplifying for ha1 so ha1 is equal to ha2 rho a minus hb rho b so ha1 is equal to i can 
टेक दिस रो ए ऑन दिस साइड सो रो ए रो ए हियर कैंसल आउट सो एच ए वन इज इक्वल टू एच ए टू माइनस एच बी रो बी बाय रो ए आई हैव जस्ट सिंप्लीफाइंग द इक्वेशन नथिंग एल्स नाउ एच टी इज इक्वल टू एच बी प्लस एच ए वन आई कैन राइट दैट टोटल हाइट एच टी इज इक्वल टू एच बी प्लस एच ए वन फाइन सो पुट हियर एच बी इज इक्वल टू एच टी माइनस एच ए वन आई कैन राइट दिस इक्वेशन एच टी इक्वल टू एच बी प्लस एच ए वन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एच बी सो एच बी इज इक्वल टू एच टी माइनस एच ए वन पुटिंग दिस वैल्यू ऑफ एच बी इन दिस इक्वेशन सो एच ए वन इज इक्वल टू एच ए टू माइनस In place of H B, I have written H T minus H one rho B by rho A. Simplify this whole equation in the form of H A one. You will get this form of equation. H A one is equal to H A two minus H T rho B by rho A divided by one minus rho B by rho A. Fine. So by using this equation. we can calculate the value of h a1 or h a2 while the other heights will be given now the next thing if i have to calculate the size of the decanter to calculate the size of the decanter using time required for separation we can calculate the size of decanter if we have the time required for the separation and time required for the separation is calculated by using this equation t is equal to 100 mu upon rho a minus rho b where t is the time required for separation mu is the viscosity of the liquid mixture and rho a rho b density of the heavy and light liquid so time required for the separation is calculated by using this equation so this is all about the gravity decanter now let us see another type of the decanter which is centrifugal decanter when the density difference between the two immiscible liquid is small at that time we use centrifugal decanter because in centrifugal decanter the driving force which is used for the separation is centrifugal force while in the gravity decanter the driving force which is used for the separation is gravity force and we know that centrifugal force is much stronger than gravity force and that is the reason why we are using centrifugal decanter for the separation of immiscible liquid having small density difference fine because centrifugal force is much much stronger than the gravity force and in centrifugal decanter the driving force which is used for the separation is centrifugal force let us see basic construction of the centrifugal decanter see here this is the bowl in which the two immiscible liquids are separate what is the working process the feed enters from the here middle of the in the middle of the bowl the feed enters from here due with the help of this after entering the two immiscible liquid the bowl is rotated at high speed as the bowl rotated at high speed would what will happen centrifugal force will be produced so as bowl rotates at high speed centrifugal force will be produced and based on the density of the liquid the liquid throws outward in the bowl so you can see here the two liquids are differentiated here this is liquid a this is liquid b liquid a is the heavy liquid and liquid b is the light liquid so you can see that as the centrifugal force produced the liquid throws outward towards the wall of the bowl so here we have mentioned the radius of the liquid surface see ra ra is nothing but the radius of the overflow liquid of heavy liquid and rb is the radius of 
overflow of light liquid and r i is the radius of the interface of heavy and light liquid fine so similar to centri gravity decanter if i can apply hydrostatic equilibrium at that time the equation will be pi minus pb is equal to pi minus pa and this pi minus pb and pi minus pa will be calculated by using this equation see here pi minus pb is omega square rho b r i square minus r b square upon 2 gc similar to this pi minus pa is omega square rho a r i square minus r a square upon 2 gc now this omega is angular velocity fine in the figure you can see here this this line shows heavy liquid this shows light liquid this is liquid liquid interface fine now we have the equation of pi minus pb and pi minus pa and after applying hydrostatic equilibrium the equation becomes pi minus pb equal to pi minus pa put this value of pi minus pb and pi minus pa in this equation and equating this pressure drop and simplifying we get rho b r i square minus r b square is equal to rho a into bracket r i square minus r a square <coughs> now solving this for r i so r i is equal to under root of r i square minus rho b by rho a into r b square whole divided by 1 minus rho b upon rho a after putting this equation in this equation and simplifying this for r i when you put this both equation and when you simplify for r i you will reach to this form and r i is the radius of the liquid liquid interface so r i is equal to under root of r a square minus rho b upon rho a into r b square whole divided by 1 minus rho b by rho a so this is about the decanters so we have seen what is decantation what is decanter which are the types gravity decanter and centrifugal decanter and what is the application of both this type of decanter so i am completing this lecture here i hope this is clear to all thank you Thank <laughs> you.